Morning, beloved. Peace be with you. This morning we're in chapter two now of John's uh, first, the first letter of St. John, his first small epistle. And he's continuing um, teaching and, and this theme of kind of unifying what we say with what we do or what we say we believe with how we are living our life. And he gives, two, gives us two tests today that we can use. They're very good objective tests to test and see, are we um, living what we say? <laughs> are we doing what we say we believe? And the first one, he continues is um, this idea of knowing, knowing Christ or being in fellowship with Christ and living out his commandments. So, uh, you know, somebody can say, oh, I know Jesus, I'm in a good relationship with Jesus. Oh, I pray every day, you know. Well, then we can look, well, are you obeying his commandments? The commandments, the objective things, and not, not subjective. So sometimes people say, oh, I pray every day, but I don't go to Mass, you know. You don't ever go worship God? <laughs> but you think you're in a good relationship with God? <laughs> so we can see these little disconnects. Um, and we, we know, he says, um, that we have to... Um, whoever keeps his word, whoever keeps these commandments. And so the word keep, remember, means guard or protect. And the commandments are not just the Ten Commandments or, you know, loving, the, loving your neighbor as yourself or loving your neighbor as Christ loves you. It's not just a list of things we're supposed to be doing or not doing. But the commandments of God are seen as the wisdom of God, the wisdom for how to live a righteous lifestyle, how to live life the way of life that we're supposed to live. So it's about keeping and guarding a lifestyle, a way of life, a godly way of life versus a worldly way of life. And you and I know as we're just living in the world, constantly ungodly things or anti-Christ lifestyles, uh, we're exposed to them. Whether we're just walking down the street or we flip on the television, we hear things on the radio, these there's all kinds of things that are anti-Christ or ungodly, they're worldly, and we get exposed to them all day long, you know, whether we like it or not. And so um, John is reminding us here, we have to keep with a guard, protect the lifestyle, the way of life, the godly way of life that Christ has taught us. So when these other ways of life come that we get exposed to, we don't let them penetrate or distract or we don't entertain them, we don't let them get us off track, but we stay on the straight and the narrow road. So that is one thing, and of course, this lifestyle is laid out in, in, with different kind of uh, do's and don'ts and the commandments or other teachings of Jesus Christ, which are objective, so we can measure ourselves that way so we don't fool ourselves. But it's all about the idea of guarding and protecting a lifestyle, a way of life and to stay in fellowship with Christ. The second thing he gives us here is about um, loving God and loving, and and you could say loving our neighbor, loving our brother and sister, specifically our brother and sisters in Christ. So James is good too. He has a saying that goes right along with this teaching of John. How can we say we love God whom we don't see if we're not loving our brother or sister that we do see? You know, so we can measure, in some sense, how much we love God by how much we are objectively loving our neighbor or loving our brothers and sisters. And um, uh, someone told me a good line from uh, from another priest one time. He was um, giving a teaching like this, and he kind of summarized it like this: Here's how we can really. You want to know how you can really tell how much you love God. You know, you want to know, how much do I love God? Because love is not a feeling. How much do I really love God? How can I tell? He said, well, think about the person that you love the least. Who's the person in your life that you love the least? Maybe someone in your life, you just, you, you, not that you, you love the least, you just don't even like them at all. Who's the one you love the least? And that's how much you love God. You know, how can I say I love my mom and dad if I hate my sisters and my brothers? You know, can't love my father if I hate my siblings. So however much I love my siblings is how much I really love my parents. So Father, we just thank you for these two ways to kind of test and 
and purify our love for you and um, the lifestyle you've asked us to live. We just pray you'd send your Holy Spirit into our lives in a fresh way to build us up and strengthen and increase our love for you by um, showing that love or demonstrating that love for our brothers and sisters, for our neighbor. Help us to love those we see uh, um, as a sign of how much we love you whom we don't see. We pray all these things together in Jesus' name. Amen.